one of the most important resources for connecting with the, this emerging self that we as human beings can give to each other is to have a few no, uh, what do we call that? It's friends, right? So it's, it's not the Facebook friends, of course, the many, but it's the few friends that really um, can hold you in that regard. No judgment, full empathy, and paying attention to you really noticing your, your, your highest future possibility, not just kind of where you are failing, right? And what, what do we have in normal relationships, right? So a lot of judgment because I, you know, particularly, you know, when we uh, have long history with each other, I know all the wrong things, right? So all the things where the other person screwed up, then, you know, you know, the empathy may not be always there. And um, uh, the letting go is very difficult. So because there's so much history, particularly if we are in conflict, we pay attention to those aspects of the other person that we don't like that we that's like um and by paying attention to that we are reinforcing it so so this is so what i just described this deep listening is a rare capacity if it happens if it's applied to me it changes me who i am if i kind of uh, practice if i have an experience like that for an evening for a half day i return from that session a different person. I'm no longer the same person. So why? What does that mean? I'm, I'm more my real self, who I really am. I, I operate on a different level of energy. I can, I'm there a little different, a little more with who I really am. That's the feeling. So that's kind of this deeper dimension of, that's really what I call with this kind of funny word, presencing. On our website globalleadership.tv you will find additional footage, other dialogues with innovation leaders from around the world, and also the hands-on practices that help them and their organizations to move from inspiration to real change.